Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to apply tag filter in control room walk queue. So here you can see we have this queue contents. We have the queue items added to the specific queue. So let's say we have 38 queue items and you want to filter out those items based on a, spe an, a specific tag and then on that specific items you want to work on that. So I'm going to give you one example. So let's say you need to delete work queue items where the tags is invoice. So if you want to delete only invoice tags, so from here you can see there are lots of items available. But if you want to delete only invoices, so you need to select either one by one here, here, like this. So let's say you if you have thousand records or more than that and you want to just delete all those invoices tags data so instead of selecting one by one you can apply tag filter and then you will get all those invoices here and then you can delete there is other example let's say the few invoices items which you got an exception and you want to retry those items again so again you will apply the filters you will select those items you will right click on that and then you will force click on force retry so it will retry that items or you want to delete that so if you want to delete those if you want to work on that so you need to apply filter here so currently we have option all it means it is showing it is showing you here all the items with the, all the tags to apply tag filters you need to know about tag filter parameters let me show you tag filter parameters in walk queue first search item with a tag you can use plus filter using the plus filter you can ensure only items with a specific tags are returned for example if you enter plus any tag name like loan application so it will return that item from queue which has the loan application tag second we have search items without a tag so let's say you want to search but based on the tag you don't want that specific tag right you don't want that specific item which has any specific tag name so using minus filter you can ensure only items without a specific tags are returned for example if you are putting minus loan application so this minus loan application it will return the item without a loan application tag so as i told you that let's say we have a 10 items and five items which has tags loan application and five items which has items uh, let's say loan funding so if you are using minus loan ap application so it will return those five items which has other tags other than loan application right now next one is using wild cards so tag search supports two wild cards first asterisk second question mark an asterisk character can be used to search for any other characters question marks means a question mark character can be used to search for any single character so it can just take any one single character any one character right for example plus invoice and then a star it will return items which have a tag beginning with invoice it means let's say you have few items where the your tag name is invoice underscore zero one invo invoice underscore zero two so if you are using plus invoice star so it will give you all those tags all those items which has the value like invoice underscore zero one zero two like that because we are using a star a search for invoice underscore zero and question mark so if you are putting invoice underscore zero and the question mark it will return any items which have a tag beginning invoice underscore zero followed by a single character like invoice underscore zero and whatever like it can be one two a b c a b c and any character but only single character search items with multiple tags sometimes you have a requirement you want to you want to work on those queue items you want to get next item and while getting the next item you want to apply multiple tags so you can also use a combination of tags in the tag filter parameter separated by a 
semicolons for example you can put plus loan application separated by semicolon again plus invoice star separated by semicolon hyphen invoice underscore hdfc so the next item with the loan application and all the tag starting with the invoice tags and without a invoice underscore hdfc tag will return now let me show you how to use these parameters here so first i will show you how to search for only one tag how to apply filter for one tag so here if you see i want to filter only invoices with the hdfc invoice underscore hdfc so i will just write here invoice underscore hdfc enter so it will give you all the items where the tag is invoice underscore hdfc here i have not entered a plus symbol so by default it will take plus or if you put here plus then also it will work same as that now second option how can you exclude this a specific tag from your filter so now i'm saying that i don't want i don't want to uh, search invoice hdfc i want other than invoice hdfc so what will i do i will just put here minus minus means it will just exclude from this filter so now you can see here now we don't have invoice underscore hdfc so this tag is not there in this our filter now i'm going to show you how to use wild cards here so let's say now delete this and now i'm saying that i don't want to see here all the invoices either that is invoice underscore hdfc or that is invoice underscore one two three four five like that so currently you can see here we have three two one like that but i don't want that also so what will i do i will write here minus invoice and then star so once i will put here asterisk it will consider that whatever value coming after this invoice value that should not be fetched because i have used minus also so it will exclude all the invoice values so after invoice a star means it will also consider underscore 0 3 underscore 0 2 and hdfc all those things once i will press enter so you'll see here now we are not get, getting those invoices i'm going to show you the other one so let's say we have invoice underscore 0 and i'm going to put here question marks so it will give you all other invoices but it will not give you the value where we have like 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 like that because question marks will take only single character single value here so that's why we are not getting 1 2 3 4 5 like that but here you will see we are getting invoice underscore 2 0 because our search is invoice underscore 0 if i'll put here plus so only you can see now so only if i'm putting here plus it will give you all those data where we have in the starting underscore zero and if i'm going to put here underscore here star so it will give you all these invoices right now i'm going to show you how to use multiple tags filter here so i'm going to write here plus or you can remove this plus also it will work so i'm saying that i want to get all those invoices first so this is the first filter now second filter i'm saying that semicolon separated by semicolon and then my requirement is to is do not include invoice underscore hdfc so for that i will write here minus invoice underscore hdfc so now you will see here it will exclude hdfc invoice and it will only give you the data with the invoice underscore 03 02 01 20 19 like that so you will get all the invoice but it will not in include invoice hdfc and then based on your filter whatever you want to do let's say you have this these things and you want to mark this as an exception so you can just select and mark selected case with the exception right so you can filter out from thousands of records this is the use of this uh, filter in control room and now you can clear the filter so once you we'll click on clear filter so it will have a by default selected all so it will give you all the values all the tags with the items so by this way you can apply tag filter in voq control room in blue prism
I hope this is useful. If so, please like this video and please subscribe this channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn UiPath RPA, then you can visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash UiPath RPA. If you want to learn Blue Prism from Udemy, so I have created one course for Blue Prism RPA complete course on Udemy. So you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there. I will enter the, the referral code and the link in the video description. You can go through that. I hope you like that one. Thank you so much for watching this video.